music therapy has a very um, broad role in rehabilitation of people following brain injury and that's really uh, for a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. One is that um, when we're born we have no means of verbal communication but as pre-verbal infants we communicate using solely musical parameters. So for this reason music is an innate ability in all of us in terms of communication. So that's one, one good theoretical reason. Measurements also a very hot topic within music therapy, as within many of the health sciences. Uh, we are, as a profession, we are developing uh, standardised measures at the moment for a range of populations. With something like GAIT, there are easier ways to measure it because one can actually have a look at um, the length of the stride, the symmetry of the stride, uh, the, the number of strides per minute. So these are possibly more quantifiable. Mm -hmm. Similarly with language, if we're looking at language production, we can look at the number of words produced independently. Because we still don't yet really understand fully music and how it works within the brain. But certainly what seems to happen is that the auditory pathways have a direct link with the motor pathways within, within the brain. And so what this means is that our body can respond automatically to an auditory stimulus. And the stimulus which is particularly strong from within music, which helps in coordinating and improving gait, is pulse.